is driving me insane at this point. This. Alright, let's jump right into it because I have somewhere to go. I'm just going to go in with Eco Style and Gel. You already know this is my favorite product. This is the Olive Oil 10 Max Hold version. This is how I always get my hair to lay down. Super flat. My hair has been growing like crazy and I'm so proud of it. I'm trying to stay away from putting so much heat in my hair, y'all, because it's just not necessary. You can see it takes me a little minute just to smooth and get my hair exactly how I want it to get. So don't think like I don't be brushing my hair 355 times. And then I just use my little scunchy hair ties to put my hair in a ponytail. This is the Oral-B toothbrush. This toothbrush right here, it just does something to my baby hairs. I love it. You know what I don't like though? I don't like putting a lot of Eco Styling Gel on my baby hairs. I feel like they make them look too forced. So I go in with my toothbrush and my leave-in conditioner and I get it going that way first. And then whatever is being stubborn, I try to put back into my actual hair because that means that it's just too long. You know, okay. So, as you can see, I had to concentrate and make sure that was turning out how I wanted it to turn out. So I'm just gonna use my dimming brush and um, detangle my hair. Speaking of dimming brush, I need, I have to travel like a little distance to go and get me these brushes because where I stay, they don't have like really good beauty supply stores that carry necessary products that I need in my life. So I'm gonna use this leave-in conditioner to detangle it a little bit more and I wanna add a little bit of water, but I don't even think I need water. Just put a little bit more leave-in conditioner back here and twisted it and I'm just gonna put a little ponytail holder. That is basically what we have, I'm gonna try to record this whole process, like me taking photos of myself so we can have like a little, what is it called? Um, a series on my channel on how I do all of that stuff. I know I've been telling you all this forever. We finally got some sun and I finally have some good vibes going on. So of course, you know, I like my hair to be all perfect and flat and no flyaways. So I just go back over with a little ego style and make sure you get the back too because you can kind of have flyaways back there and you just don't want that to clock you. I need to charge my damn phone because I need my phone for the um, Canon app so I can have a little shooter button. All right, it's not the best, but it's going to work for today's festivities, okay? Because I don't even think I'm gonna wear my hair like this to dinner. So of course we gotta prep the skin. I'm gonna be prepping my skin with this cucumber water. It's three in one, a refresher, a pick me up. Um, this is a primer and a set. So I like to go in with the continuousness. This is from Morphe. This is the continuous setting spray. And then a little bit of this. I like this one just because I really feel like it is a refresher. It is doing what it say it does. And then this one I use to set and also like if I'm finding that some of my products have dried down a little bit, go back in with this just so you know it can blend out a little bit better for you. All right, so we're going to go in with a little bit of this e.l.f. Concealer. And I'm going to put this on my face and blend it out on all of the spots that I have on my face because guess what? <laughs> um, your girl is allergic to peanut butter. Yes, I'm very upset about it. You know why? Because what else am I going to find out that I'm allergic to? I mean, God damn. It's driving me insane at this point. Like, I just cannot. What can I eat? And I was using that so I can just, you know, quickly make me something for breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> I wanted to, um, I was making myself like these egg McMuffin, like half bagel sandwiches in the morning before I would work out. And girl, no more because every time I do it, this is what happened. At first I didn't know what it was from. Like I did this last week and I had a breakout from it. And then I was just like, well maybe I was just tripping. So I bought some more. And I split it down the middle and made me a little quick sandwich and then I was eating that for like almost three days for breakfast and girl 
finally it caught up to me and here I am but it's all good you already know my breakouts kind of go away fast so I'm not tripping anyway I'm gonna move on with this born this way concealer y'all know the drill I love this stuff it you know does what it needs to do for me and this is in the shade caramel I need to pick up some new makeup y'all like I'm at this point where I feel like I'm running out of all of my good old products. I don't know if I told y'all that I was allergic to Lancome foundation that I used to tell you guys about all the time. And I also feel like they changed their formula on me. So I don't use that anymore. Where my luster drops are because y'all know I don't do anything without them. But don't trip because here they go. Here they are. These are my Hello Halo luster drops on the high points of our face like such. I'm gonna go in with my Nude Sticks Blurring Stick to start my contour. You know what I'm saying? Because we need a chisel face. Even though we've been going to the gym, getting this body tight and right. Spray. Blend. Spray and blend. I can tell you guys, lately I've been doing this little cute high ponytail with a frontal. I want to um, redo the video that I initially recorded for you guys because I didn't like how the final results came out because I was getting rushed again. I have been loving doing um, frontal ponytails on myself. But the only reason why I don't care for frontal ponytails so much is me having the frontal on my forehead for a little bit too long that can help break me out too because i have foundation powder underneath the lace and i find that if i just keep reapplying reapplying without actually trying to redo the whole entire style i can get a little bit of acne going on around the perimeter of my forehead and i don't like that at all but if y'all want to see the style let me know i'll probably incorporate it in a vlog versus like a whole like tutorial because it's super easy it's like five seconds to be honest with you because it's a ponytail and it's a frontal so right now i'm just using my 439 brush from morphe to blend out this contour and if y'all want to know if i love this contour now i really do because one it doesn't break me out and two i left it open so it can stiffen up the product a little bit i'm in the shade deep tint for my contour shade so definitely try it out girl leave it sitting out for like a day don't lose the cap because after that day you don't need to let it sit out anymore i promise you it'll be good and it'll actually you know show up on you y'all know the drill my holy grail my ride is eye. hopefully this never starts breaking me out but i'm gonna ride out with it as long as i possibly can this is in the shade car and this is the natural long wear foundation from nars it's going to stipple my brush on the back of my hand and we're just going to do some tapping motions i used this razor today to shave my face just to like get my little must and these are um these razors right here are actually from walgreens and it works really good so if you go to walgreens pick you up a pack even if it's just to like clean up your brows i actually really do like those and i see those quite often and I didn't use my contour for my nose today because the bronzer that I have been using has a lot of power in it. So I don't really like putting a lot of makeup on my nose. So it's either it's either or. We're going to blend this out and set with my Laura Mercier. Y'all know she's getting a little she's getting a little skimp on me. I'll probably be able to last for maybe. Oh no! Oh no! It's a lot in here, girl. What? See, I would've just been buying shit just for no reason. Let me tell y'all, my cousin had me cracking up last night. Um, I had told him about how I just been, you know, minding my business and staying focused, right? And he seen that I, well, I had told him that I was just making little stickies, little reminders. He talking about some, it's giving me, you have all time a week. I swear I was laughing at that for maybe like 30 minutes. And I, no, that's just my positive affirmations to myself every day. Thank you very much. I'm trying to get into my meditation bag, y'all. Like I've been practicing and it just hasn't been working. You know why? Because I'm a Gemini and Geminis, they are in their head 24 seven, like literally having conversations with their thoughts. Like, and I just think that I'm crazy for it because the other night I couldn't even do it. And while I was meditating, 
I had a dead ass went to sleep. But one thing did happen that was very strange. I woke up at seven, seven o'clock in the morning and I finished meditating. Well, I was trying to meditate around 12.30. 12 30 and i woke up at 7. i took advantage of that i got up the next day and like started vlogging a little bit and i think what i'm gonna dark and i think what i'm gonna start doing for my vlogs if i don't do anything exciting for the full day i can combine different clips throughout the week and that can be my weekly vlogs you know so that's what i was basically doing yesterday so if i can fit everything into this video that I'm doing today and yesterday maybe that will be fun I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna I'm trying to have different video editing techniques and styles on my channel so we'll figure something out so the first press I don't press to actually bake I press to set and then go in and bake after I finish like bronzing my whole face up, if that makes sense. We were actually gonna go bowling today, y'all, but the bowling alley in Atlantic Station, the food is not good. The drinks are super strong. We like going to another spot out here. Um, it's called Paint and Pen. Maybe, you know, the food is bad because of COVID, but y'all had a whole grand opening, like, Y'all food is supposed to be A1, especially if y'all just open. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my true complexion. I'm just using this color right here just to help warm up my face for the moment. The reason why I put the first color down before this color is because it just helps, you know, give you that gradient, know how to blend look, you know? grab the brush that I use to contour my nose and it's just a fluffy brush this is the 412 from Morphe and I'm doing it very slightly because y'all know the drill about this bronzer it has a lot of kickback and you just don't want that especially if you're doing a nose contour moving on to the next steps we're going to blend into the brow so it doesn't look so awkward. Like such. Oh, guess what? I think, I don't know if they have pineapple mimosas, but I think that would be actually really good because I made me a little pineapple drink in my wine glass today. But I was like, damn, I wish I had some champagne because I would make me a little pineapple mimosa. <clears throat> but let me know if that's out. Because I do know that they have grapefruit mimosas. But I've never seen a pineapple mimosa before. But I'm wearing cream today, right? So I don't know if I want a shimmer lid or if I just want to pop some lashes on and keep it pushing. So that's good enough for me. I'm just going to add a little bit of something I don't know what but maybe a little bit of ginger because I don't want to go too dark I didn't put any blush on today I don't want blush because I'm going for a neutral look um, well my outfit is very cream and I don't think I need blush for a cream outfit. I feel like cream goes for like more of a bronzy feel. And what we still have to do is just pat in around the nose area, pat down here, and then we should be good to take our photo. Okay, girl, we gotta put the outfit on first. But I do, I did buy myself a tall mirror so y'all can see my outfits now. I finally got around to so going to Ikea. Did that, check that off my list, thank you. Productivity. I know y'all noticed that I don't have my piercings in. Do I look different without my piercings? Let me know. Drag it and say, I knew it was just something different about you. You just look like a whole different person with your piercing. First of all, calm down. <laughs> That's not the truth. Very basic. Nude sticks on the outline and Morphe's first base. Right, yeah, first base on the center. And my friend's um, lip gloss line from Ivy Rose Beauty. Okay, 
I feel like what will make this pop if I add like a cream liner to the inner part of my eye. But to be honest with you, it already looks like I have it, so I feel like all of that is unnecessary. I pat because I'm too heavy handed to sweep, and since it's been baking, I feel like patting always makes everything look a bit more natural if you are gonna bake. All right, so let me go and put, I'm gonna put the outfit on and I'll be ready. If I don't have an outro um, after doing all of this because I have to head to dinner in like an hour. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I want to say now. Get that out of the way. These earrings, I believe I got these from Forever 21 or either H&M. Maybe like a last year or two years ago. This is from Forever 21. I just picked this up maybe like two days ago because I knew that I wanted to have like an aesthetic like this for an outfit. I have rings that I think I might put on but I don't really want to look like Mr. T. So I might just keep it, you know, toned down. This shirt right here is thrifted. It's a thrifted piece. It's literally just for these photos. I'm not wearing this tonight. And I had uh, cut up two shirts like this. And I like this color, but I like how I cut up my last one. I was actually on the phone with my cousin when I was cutting this one. I'm gonna set up and get both cameras going. Peace out. All right, y'all, so let's start this DIY shoe. Okay, so I'm going to mention everything right now, but it will be linked in the description box below. So your needs. I'm using my Manfrotto tripod. Perfect for something like this, especially if you're trying to do your own content. And I'm using my M50 Canon camera. Everything will be linked once again, so don't think that it's not down below. I know y'all probably looking at this outfit girl and being like, what is going on? But I told you it's a DIY ting, okay? No, I'm not going outside with this. I mentioned that as well, but you know I gotta keep repeating myself because people are gonna be down in the comments like, girl, it's cold outside. Are you really gonna wear that? No, no, relax. So I know y'all can tell that golden hour is here and here to stay. So I had to switch to my box lights and my ring lights and those will be linked in the description box as well. I get mine from the Limo Studio. I believe it's the most common artificial light company that is out there on Amazon, but there is a couple of other companies and I'll list my ring light where that's from because it's not from the Limo Studio. So my best tip for you guys when you're taking your own photos you have to have that confidence on high on thou wow okay i know it's pretty hard to take your photos with somebody else but this should be the time where you're able to just go all in and you know start feeling yourself self-love girl when you're taking these photos of yourself and you know have your music playing i'm gonna touch on all of that in a second but i just wanted to come on here and share with you guys how i do what i do when i be doing it you know what i mean um make sure you accessorize make sure you have a outfit on that makes you feel confident and you know just have fun with it I am using my Canon app to take my photos so you see me looking at my phone quite often and that's just because I know for a fact I'm only going to use maybe like two of these photos that I end up taking so if I find me a banger then I it's not necessary to keep shooting but you will find that you get a little bit more confident girl while you're you know doing the shoot so take your time be patient with yourself and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more in detail so let's just get into it gotta okay, iron something y'all I probably said this in the voiceover but girl patience with yourself patience with your outfit patience with the lighting patience patience my first love was photos photography everything girl like I had my first camera I said photos, photography, cameras, and taking pictures, whether it was of the sunset. If y'all remember, a lot of my content on my um, Instagram was flowers and like food when I first started. If y'all have been watching and following me for that long, I don't really get myself so caught up on like making everything super, super perfect because there's so many apps to make it that way. And like practice, find a area in your house that has like a clean like aesthetic to it or like a clean look to it because that is super, super important when you take photos. Like you can't be taking photos in a house that's like has a background 
full of junk. As you can see, I'm using like this little nook and just because of how nice the sunset is and natural lighting is, with the box lights, it just makes my photos look a bit more clear and of course I have my flash on. I am using my Canon app to control my camera so I don't have to run over there and actually hit the button to it. Um, I will link that app in the description box below but it's just the Canon app if you have a Canon camera. I'm not sure if Sony has one. I don't have a Sony camera yet. But yeah, make sure you have your batteries um, charged up. And you heard me say batteries. It's super important because you're going to find a way to run out of battery. And I don't have two batteries to this camera. I need to actually go and pick one up. But I'm usually good at taking my photos. So I just wanted to show you guys the setup. I wanted to just show you, I wanted to show you guys how simple it is. It's no rocket science behind my photos or anything like that. It's just about the quality of the camera, quality of the lighting. But most importantly, it boils down to me. It boils down to my attitude, how I feel, how I look. Um, if I have like, some music on while I'm taking my photos, nine times out of 10, that will help my mood, that will spike up me to like just continuing to go, to shoot. Why? Because your song came on and now you're feeling like hot stuff, you're feeling um, very confident in the process and your outfit doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to go and run out and buy anything. You can find something in your house, you can cut it up whether it's old or new. And a lot of my photos on Instagram, I really don't have like accessories. like. So my big thing this year was to continue adding on to my accessories. Now you will find that other pictures turn out better than the photos that may have the accessories. As you've seen, I grabbed my purse, I grabbed my jacket, and that just like kind of like changed up my mood about the shoe just because it felt like more so a person could possibly be taking my own photos. If you don't accessorize as much, sometimes it can feel like you're just taking like a regular photo on your iPhone and that's cool and all but if you want to take it to the next level just accessorize that's basically what I'm trying to say but at the end of the day have fun with it it's not like a huge thing unless you're a photographer and you're just trying to you know work on yourself before you work on others but at the end of the day it will be a lot easier if you are behind the camera and, and you're pushing that button instead of you being in front of the camera trying to control everything around you to make sure you have a good quality photo my living room light my little spotlight right here my living room is still on and that is important just because you want lighting to come from every angle even though you have lighting directing you like straight to your face just like this. You kind of want something above you as well. And girl, I bought so many different kind of trinkets, all different kind of items just so I can like enhance lighting. But at the end of the day, nine times out of 10, what you have is going to work for you, I promise you. Like I've been taking photos since I can remember. Like I started on MySpace, shit, I grew to Tumblr. My homegirl at the time had told me about a lot of my social media platforms that I had no clue about, to be honest with you. Just because I was a military brat and my parents kind of kept me very like, not so much in the loop because they probably didn't want to lose control of this wild child right here. They probably just didn't know either, to be honest with you. But I am going to roll out because I have dinner at six. We need to get there at one time. I'm about to head there now and yeah so i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching now i have to go and change my outfit for that because i can't wear that as you can see well i can't wear this as you can see it's just a little too risque um i do plan on sewing why am i trying to take it off while i'm on camera right now with y'all like this what? but anyway i plan on sewing this and making this work in the near future because you guys know i have my sewing machine that i haven't bust out in so long um but yeah, um, yeah. but this is how I take my photos at home. I'll do different destinations. If you guys are interested, just go ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up. That will let me know if you guys wanna see it or not. And if you just enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. But make sure you subscribe, join the family. You know, you don't wanna miss out on your girl content. So I just had a whole wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> um, blown very much like late now because of it. Look at that, can y'all see? Y'all can't see because the tracker is not on that area. Look, horrible. Don't know how to fix it, can't fix it. But I'd rather have it not like this on a good day. When I can actually wear this. Let's see what the initial drip was. This and 
my Burberry shoes. And this one is the hat one. Wear it backwards to me. But I think I like this side of the shirt better. Still a part of the sporting look. Yeah, that'll do. We finally got our food.